Hi, welcome back to Crafting a Country Life. I'm Andrea. Um, I'm coming on to share um, some thrifted things that I found this, pa <clears throat> this past weekend. And I'm participating in an open collaboration that is hosted by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. And this is the hashtag, hashtag Thrifty Thursday. And um, I'm gonna uh, upload this to Thrifty Thursday, uh, you know, once I finish filming, but um, just to let you know some of the background on this, there are a ton of beautiful uh, old handkerchiefs here, as well as a few other odds and ends. And I was at a flea market this past weekend with my husband, which is actually not far from us. And it, this flea market occurs every Sunday in the warmer months of the year. And we haven't been, I haven't been since before my children were born, actually. Um, and over the years, my husband has occasionally gone down there once, once in a blue moon kind of thing. But we thought, oh, you know, let's just, let's go take a ride down there together. Um, and I did not expect to find as many amazing things as I did. So let me jump right in. I'm going to start with um, these couple of storybooks here. And these were 25 cents each. Um, this is the first one. And of course, you know, with my junk journaling, these will be um, beautiful vintage materials to use. So this is just a really sweet little book. So that was the first thing. Okay, and again, 25 cents. I couldn't leave it there for that. And this one is called Counting to Ten. So there's some beautiful, it's a little golden book. And some sweet little images of children. So these will be really nice in some vintage journals, card making, those kinds of things. I'm really excited about finding these. Um, and previously, I had gone to some different antique shops in our area um, and thrift shops, and the prices were considerably higher than what they were at the flea market. So I guess that's sort of the bottom line, is if you really want to <laughs> do well with price, your best bet is to visit, I guess, a flea market. Anyway. So that was the second one. And then this one is called A Wonder Book for Children Favorite Nursery Tales. Look at this, again, these sweet little images of children and animals are just adorable. It will be so pretty, even just fussy cut and put into uh, mid-century journals. So this was also 25 cents. And then I happened to be um, in another booth and I found this package of what looks to be late 19, possibly late 1960s, I'm only guessing here because there's no date on it, but it's a paper tablecloth and it has some beautiful um, like images that you could fussy cut out and include in um, journal making and so on. And it'll be nice with this texture, I think, with the kind of the paper tablecloth texture. Um, and she gave this to me for 25 cents. It was marked a dollar on the back. So that was a fun find, and there's quite a bit of it here. So, so those were the paper items that I found. And then the next thing that I found was a plastic box that somebody was selling. Um, and it had all of these beautiful fabrics in, in it. Um, so what I did is I took everything home, and they were, they were actually quite clean. Um, some of these hankies I don't think have ever been used because a number of them still had the little labels on them and I saved those when I went to wash these out there are these tiny little metallic labels this one says jacquard brocade rayon and cotton all Irish linen all linen all kinds of oh this says Marshall Field and Company uh, made in Switzerland 100% cotton. So anyway, I thought these would make nice ephemera additions to journal making as well. So I did hang on to those. So let me start with these. Ed, these uh, particular ones here have uh, lace edging. Some of them are crocheted, and I don't know if they're crocheted by hand or if there's some kind of a machine process that was used, but they're all quite old and spotless. I think there's only one that had some staining on it, but the rest look like they've never been used. So here's the first one. It's pretty blue. This is linen. And here's another. 
Look at that edging. I'm wondering if this is machine. I mean, it, to me, it looks like a machine treatment, but what pretty, pretty thread that's edged along this, the edges of these. This one is also linen. Here's a blue edging. Just so pretty. And I got this entire box for, for $8. I, I'm just amazed. This is also very pretty. And here's one with sort of a springtime colors. Some purple and green and white. Here's a green. This one is also linen. It's coming into view okay. So many. And here's another with beautiful crocheting along the edge. Here's a yellow one. Now, if these were part of, um, you know, if, if there had been, um, a, you know, a shop that maybe was cleaned out years and years ago, I always wonder what the stories are behind these, some of these things that you find. Um, anyway, look at this one. But I would love to know the story behind whoever had these and where they came from. Here's another here with a different crocheted edging on it into view better. There we go. Purple. I'm just going to flip through these. There's just so many. I don't want the video to be too, too long. But And these edgings are similar on, on these few here. Here's a navy blue. An emerald green. Oh, this pink one. This is also a linen one here. This one has the stain from the label, you can see here. But that's just so pretty with the pink linen and the white edging, a pale blue, green, another blue, and then this one here is sort of a light and dark blue crocheted edging as well. Okay, and then this one with the gold edging. So those, that little pile there, those were the ones with the edgings. These have embroidery on them. This is really pretty too. And here's some pretty little flowers. This is very, very sheer cotton. It almost feels like a cotton lawn fabric. Okay, and then this little pretty one here. So pretty. Little flowers, very dainty. And I love this one with the heirloom lace edging. And the pretty embroidery. And there's some cut work on there too. Embroidery, you can see right here. Okay, and then the little birds embroidered onto this one. And this one has some white work and also some crocheted edging. And here's a white on white. Another L, all in white. Just so, so pretty. And this one with some uh, applique and embroidery on it. So beautiful. And this one with the little lily of the valley. And this purple one here. Another pretty little, very sheer. You can almost see my hands through the four layers of this hanky. So pretty. And the yellow and green. And then this one with some more white work in the corner. Some crocheted edging. And then this coral pink and green. And this tiny little one here almost looks like cross stitching, very, very fine cross stitching on the floral part. And this one as well. And then LMA are the initials on this one. It's so dainty. It's another coral. I mean, there's so many, and like some of them are exactly the same, which is making me think perhaps there was a you know, a lady's dress shop that maybe went out of business, or who knows? I don't know. They're all in such pristine shape. And this with the red and white. Some little white work flowers. Some crocheted edging. Some blue and green and yellow birds on pussy willows. And the purple. This one is kind of stained here. but. And then this simple black, uh, not black, uh, brown, um, cotton hanky here as well. Sort of a chocolate brown. 
so you know i mean these could be incorporated into journal making you could oh just zillions of different um things you could do with these i know they're almost they're almost too pretty to even use <laughs> that's the hard part deciding which ones you're gonna employ in journal making and which you're gonna put aside so that and then in this satin box which he also threw into the plastic box for me it's an old machine quilted um, satin hanky box. Look at that. And then inside, all of the hankies in here are white. Some have that, which I think, again, machine made lace. I'm not totally sure. I'm just surmising that this is. Um, but very, very pretty. Probably came from a high-end dress shop, I'm, I'm guessing. And this one here has a very dainty lace as well. These feel like they're linen. They have that drape and that softness to them. And again, some of these are identical. This one has a pretty little pattern in the weave. There's another couple here with crochet, different crocheted edgings. And this one with the heirloom lace sewn around the edge. And this one has tatting on it, which is so, so pretty. Very dainty. Okay, this one here, linen again. And let's see, some of these are identical in this box. And this is a very, very sheer, feels like cotton. Again, the crocheted edging. So there are 60 hankies here in this collection. So those, and then in the same plastic box were some of these ascots, which were very popular if you, you know, I'm dating myself here, but back in the 1980s, these were very fashionable. Some of these ascots, now here's a Liz Claiborne, this one 100% um, silk. So some of them are 100% silk and they are labeled and you can feel the difference. That these are very, very lightweight and they have a little bit of a resistance when you rub on them. These are the silk. Here's a silk bow. Okay. These are polyester. Both of these are polyester. So is this one here. And this is the hem cut off of a dress. So I washed that and pressed it up. And this one here, 100% silk, it's a paisley pattern. Another 100% silk, made in Italy. Is that a Claiborne? It's a symphony scarf made in USA. And this is, um, this is a polyester. Whoops! Oh, just dropped that one. This is silk. Isn't that a pretty pattern? Very dainty. This one here is also silk. And this is a scarf, 100% silk scarf. These washed up and ironed beautifully. This one is also a 100% silk scarf. And then included also in the plastic box was an old hand crocheted pot holder and a table scarf. This is a cotton and rayon brocade and one of the labels that I had shared with you came off of that. This one here, it says Jacquard brocade, rayon and cotton was attached to this beautiful table scarf. So that was the first really great find that I made for for eight dollars, I still can't believe it. And then, a little further down at the flea market, I found an old uh, plastic Ziploc bag that reeked of cigarette smell. And inside the plastic bag were all of these yarns. And there were also eight boxes of this um, cotton twill tape. This is quarter inch. There were eight boxes of these, or six or eight boxes in, in there. So um, what I did is I took everything home 
and took it out of the plastic bag and I laid it out in the shade under the trees on a breezy day and the smell is almost gone. There's just a very faint little bit of it left. So I may end up with these wools, I may hand wash them before I use them. Uh, but these are tapestry wools, 100%. And this bag of goodies, well, um, the vendor wanted $10 for them, and I really, you know, wasn't really sure I wanted to spend that much, given the condition of the bag and everything. And so I made him an offer of eight, and he took it. So there's some gorgeous wools in here that will be great for um, doing all kinds of different embroidery or, you know, including in journal making, all kinds of things. And then all of these beautiful spools of 100% cotton, Clark's ONT, brilliant, 100 yards. Crochet cottons, I'm sure, and they're of different weights. They're, the, this is a pearl cotton here. Most of them are sort of this beautiful coral color and then also black, but there are a few in uh, this lavender color as well. And then some of these um, Mercer Rice Crochet Cotton Spools, Sand Silk it's called, does it say? Uh, Mercer Rice Crochet Cotton. And they're on these beautiful wooden spools from uh, the American Thread Company in um, Willimantic, Connecticut. Mercer Rice Crochet Cotton. So there's several of these. And then also some of these very small I want to say they're probably tatting, tatting spools because they're quite fine and very small. Well, it says tatting and crochet. But the tiny labels on these as well could certainly be saved aside and used in, um, in journal making as well. And these labels are also really pretty. They're gold with a blue printing on them. So, I, you know, I don't throw anything away. The labels and the advertising information is just as useful as the textiles are. And there are also a number of sp older spools of um, thread, Talon, 100% cotton threads. This looks to me to be silk. It's very shiny, very old. So quite a number of those in there as well. So that was a really great find. And I think that's the end of my haul from the flea market. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing everything that I found. I can't wait to get started using some of these things. So it'll be really, really fun to, uh, to start building some journals and other mixed media projects with them. Anyway, thank you. And thank you to Sherry as well for hosting this open collaboration, um, hashtag Thrifty Thursday. And um, I'll be back next month with another Thrifty Haul. Take care. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.